Hey guys, welcome back to our Secret of Mana Let's Play video. This is Cloudy, and we are going to find out what we're going to do next. Which I think at this point is go fight Eleni the Witch. Or at least go to where Eleni the Witch lives. She's in the haunted forest. Now we've got our third member. So he can help us fight, which is awesome. Given him the boomerang, which is his default weapon, and gave my little chick an axe because I think she just gets a bit harder with a weapon. But using gloves, I don't know. Maybe that's just an illusion. Plus, I'm going to need the axe anyway. Many of you that probably don't know, the little red-headed guy is actually a guy. When I first played, I thought it was a girl. So. Later in the video, video, later in the game, you actually learn that it's a boy by uh, NPCs referring to it as him and he. Uh, this way. See what I've set my little dude to act like. He's on, keep playing guard, so he's not really going to be attacking too much. Yeah. Put, I automatically always put them on that. It's easier. They do jump around quite a bit, but at least they're getting in trying to help. Already need to heal. Good thing I bought extra candy. Stop getting me. The more enemies we kill, basically, the better off we'll be later. Because we'll level up a lot more. And it'll just be generally easier. Thirty-four gold pieces. Woo! Money. You go, little tear. Whack them with your boomerang. Ugh. Ugh. Restricted my movements. He's stuck at the flowers! Oh my god. Get him. Cool, Taya reaches level 4. We are going to talk to Nico and buy some stuff and save it before we go on. Even his crazy high prices won't stop me from buying a few more candies. I really do need them. Which of these? may even buy a couple of chocolates. Everyone likes chocolate. Uh, save the game. <laughs> it stands no chance being beaten like that. Keep forgetting to look at my HP sometimes.
Now this is the part we couldn't get down before because we didn't have an axe, now we have an, an axe. So down it goes. And it's opened up the whole place for us now. This is the haunted woods, by the way. This is where Alini is going to be waiting for us at the end of. I didn't even check the other side yet, but I have an inkling that it may be the other entrance we saw earlier that Dilak and his men ran down. Come on, guys, get out of the way. Oh my god. Alright, cool. Alright, we're gonna have a look at it anyway. One of this guy <laughs> smacking. Uh, we may as well explore, level up, show you guys a bit more of the game. It's always good. Don't let my characters die. Some of the little positions characters get into when you pause is <laughs> so hilarious. A serious weapon skill is level one. So when a weapon gets up in skill you want to go to your act screen and then put that up to one so she can use her charge attack. Oh. If you get hit by those eyes they turn you into moogles. Yes this game was made by Square before it became Square Enix and when Square was run by Nintendo or, run, or they released things for Nintendo before Final Fantasy came along. It's like almost one of the first Final Fantasy games. There you go. The oh, and they can't attack and then they die and they get hurt. Oh, I died. Oh, <laughs> he's using a glove. Oh, whoops. I must have swapped around all of the things. I find that the swords have a bit better reach than the gloves do. I personally love the gloves though. I've always been a fan of um, kind of fist type weapons in all sorts of games. I use them in my art and stuff like that as well as some of the characters preferred weapons. I just think they're really cool. Alright, so that's opened up a pathway that we probably couldn't get to before. So we probably did need to go this way in the end. It still surprises me how hard these little crappy mon monsters are sometimes. If you just happen to get hit the wrong way, you get caught in one of their rampages where you just can't get up. So cheap. Cheap and nasty. Come on, couple of wishes. Oh, just money. Do have a couple of wishes though. We'll use it on a Sira for the moment. And probably just buy some more later. What am I going this way for? Oops. I hate this guy on the stair. Run! Come on, guys. Oh my god. Get out of the way. Oh, there we go, a trapped um, treasure chest, as I was talking about earlier. Some of them have traps in them, and you've got to be really careful. Not that you can really do much about it apart from ignoring it. But there is like times in the game where you just know that a set of mobs are going to drop those trapped cases. Perhaps it's better just to not open them, especially if you've got full items. There's no real point in opening a chest if you've already got all of the items anyway. Oh, a bee! How'd you get down here? Ouch. Um. Oh, with new characters, I've always got such... HP. Build it up. Oh, okay. So those little stumps there mean that you need a whip weapon to be able to get across them. Which we do not have at this juncture. 
It's alright, we don't need to go that way, that way is just the way back up. Of the other route that we had, that dialect come through. Might give the girl a ranged weapon, seems to be helpful. Oh, oops, I gave it to myself. Give the girl the ranged weapon. Okay. I know how good she is, or how good they are with ranged weapon, but I don't know. It seems helpful. By getting close, they stay around the edges and just attack us. And hopefully, not miss. By the way, when an enemy is casting a spell, it's pretty much invincible for the moment that it's casting a spell and you can't do much to it. Same with if you are casting a spell and something tries to hit you, it can't actually hit you because you're invincible. Which is kind of a little bit of a cheap way of getting through their weaknesses. I mean, like, so that they don't get you. If you know that you're gonna die or something, cast a spell, sometimes you can stay alive. Alright, out, uh, out of candy, but here is the entrance I believe. So this is the entrance to the castle of Alini. And I really hate these guys. Wow. They hurt and they're strong and they do a lot of damage. Ouch, 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 ouch. I'm coming, no! I think I might just make my way around here for a moment. Kill some of the easier mobs. Tia reaches level 6 and it's got all of the HP back, which is wonderful because he was really low. Ah no! I didn't see that eyeball. And I died. Just reach this guy from here. <laughs> that guy <laughs> also heals his little mobs that he spawns. Alright, uh, let's, let's get in there. Oh, maybe not. Maybe we won't get in there. Oh, it's like a blockage. Come on, dude. Come here before you die. And we use our other cup of wishes and one of our chocolates. I've become rusty at this game, I think. I don't remember it ever being this difficult. It could be because I'm concentrating on talking. I don't know. Who knows? It could just be that I've just become crap in my old age. Just playing this last. <laughs> Not that long ago, really. Oh, I hate these guys when they get you through the wall. Come on, dude. <laughs> gank it, gank it. Before it spawns and stuff. Alright. Cool. Oh, that is the worst. And I died for that character. Let us see if um you have a you have a charge up. Let's set it to that. I really don't like these wolves at this time because you're so low level and they're just so hard to comparison to. You. They can easily make you die if you're not careful. Let's just go in. I'm trying to get through this part. Oh my god. Don't want to die anymore. Come on, come on. Oh my god, get out of the way. Oh! Let's see if I can save him from dying. He has 1 HP. the worst when you've charged up a spell to its full potential, which they have at least like 9 charges, or 8 charges, whatever it is, 
and then they hit you when you're going for it and you have to start all over again. Alright, some of these chairs come alive. That's one of them. They might all come alive, I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Maybe all of them. Oh, I'm gonna die. No! Oh, when they call you. Alright, I'm dead. <laughs> so that's the screen that happens when you suck and you die. And you have to start again. Sadly, no trace of them was ever found. We'll get back up to that and I will start recording again. And we're back again. I kind of ran through all of those guys. Um, and so we've come to the dungeon. And they basically just open the door for this guy and he's all dazzled. Alright, so go up to the next floor. When three people step onto the platform, a bridge will appear. Platform, let's go see it. And so, um, we're going to buy some things and save it because my dude's dying the front center. Uh, this is so expensive though. But I do need them. So, oh, I don't need three though. At the moment, anyway. I'm going to buy some candies so we can revive peeps. And we'll come back a bit later to here and get more um, resin cups. At the moment, we're just going to do that. And save it. Saving equals good. Res these guys. La 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 la, and they're res, and the soldiers are going everywhere except for outwards for some stupid reason. So, three people on the step should open it. Cool, there we go. Oh, I don't know how that ray got me from there, but it did. They just all get turned into moogles. Oh, get out of the way. Alright. We lost one in the process, but whatever. Let's kill these guys from across the way. They just don't do very much damage to him. Is it worth killing them? Probably. They probably will give me quite a bit of XP, considering how hard they are. I mean, be pretty nice if they did. Let's charge. Let's see if that helps. Gives us extra attack. Hopefully they give us quite a bit of gold as well so that we can keep buying cups and things to keep leveling. If Zero went up a level, I want the little guy to go up a level because he has hardly got any HP at all. Alright, we've both gone up a level and it dropped us something. Probably a booby trap. <laughs> it's one of them cases that runs around first. Yeah, yeah, cup of wishes, that's what we want. And we will heal our dude. Come on. Yeah. I've started using save states because it's a bit hard. Should run back and forth. Like one HP damage. When I charge though, he does quite a bit more. Why are you not going in and running around, young lady? What have I set your act to? Approach and attack. You should be approaching and attacking them. Sometimes these, like, artificial intelligent little companions just don't seem to do anything for you. Sometimes they help, but sometimes they just stand back and do nothing at all. Which is really annoying. So, I want to kill everything! Alright. 
Now, candies. Candies for Kai. Three doors, let's see what's behind each door. That's all. Oh, we don't want to be stuck with that. Oh my god. I don't want to be stuck with you either. Uh huh, okay. Get in and kill them! Thank you. Alright, so that looks like it's the right way to go. More of these guys in a different position this time. That way. Chairs. I don't think killing these actually does anything for you. You young lady, and you're gonna oh. and we die again. Oh my god! Try again, and we're trying to get through here again. <laughs> All right, change to an axe for the girl because it's more powerful. So try and kill these things. We still manage to. Attack things. Attack things. I still managed to kill my dudes without me really realizing it. Which sucks a lot. And that opens up the little pathway down there. Oh, we should be able to get through if I ever become not a noodle. The worst thing to happen is for the little sprite child to actually die because he's the one that needs the most leveling up. Alright, so the music's changed. We are actually near to the end now. To meeting said Alini. Oh, get out of the way. And it becomes a bit more dangerous for us because these things are kicking my ass, apparently. And I do not want to be stuck here by myself. I probably will go back after killing these and get some more cups of wishes. We want cups of wishes so we can level our dudes and so they can help us with the boss. Because there is going to be a boss battle up ahead. And it's not going to be easy. Not when we have dead peoples. To get cups of witches we need money, and to get money we need to kill his stuff, which is also hard. For my one little turd. One down. I know about dodging. Oh, so stop doing that. Oh, so annoying when they run away. Whatever. Let's see if I've got enough money. Good opportunity to save down here as well. For some reason, music changed when we come down here. Oh, I haven't even got enough for one cup of wishes, let alone several cups of wishes. So what I might do is just pause the recording for the moment and get a whole bunch of money, basically, and then come back. I'm going to try that again. Here we go.
I'm not sure how the best way is to kill this guy. He just keeps on doing that. Oh, so annoying! Ah! Oh, they just seem to sit there doing nothing and he's just brutalizing them. Alright, long range peeps. Go, go, go. Kick his ass! God, what's wrong with you people? I need magic Seriously. Stop sleeping! Oh my god, you're so useless, people! Is this no easy way to kill this guy? Turn around. Yeah, end the video there and then in the next video we will be taking on the boss. Thanks for watching guys, see you later.